SAFSI is an institute of uh, many faiths with people committed to cherishing and caring for living earth. One of my passions at the moment is the Ethical Governance Initiative and under that comes the Faith Leader Environmental Advocacy Training Program known as FLEET. The participants from FLEET are faith leaders across the SADC region. So drawing these faith leaders together into the training program means that we actually focus on building their capacity to understand these issues. We share experiences um, throughout the region and we see how faith leaders can add their voice of faith into these issues of environmental injustice. That we are still good is still what says God intended us to be. The Jews spend most of time there and maybe. Don't leave me, Maria. What's your problem? What's your problem? Cut down trees, make chapel. On our way back home, she searches for firewood. So the woman carries the big load. Farmers go farming, we found cows search for water, cows search for green pastures. Finally, you see the charts. What happens to the water sources? Happens that because there is no water. We found all the villagers of this village. Today we have a meeting to our village office about climate change. Many scientists discovered that there has been a persistent increase in temperature. So women, they move far distance inside for fuel. Also, farmers are cutting down trees improperly without replacing them. Uh, I was wrong. Um, I might say you are wrong, but because of the perception and you are not aware of what climate change is. The problem is because of climate change. It's faith leaders being seen and often to be putting forward good, strong solutions to uh, environmental problems. There is a mixture of practical activities so that people can understand alternative forms of, of energy or different technologies that can be used. It's a network of faith leaders, it's a team that we can draw together and if we're united in our diversity of faith, we can actually be a strong voice for environmental justice.